Hey guys, on this channel I want to help you start and grow your print-on-demand business so you can be making daily sales like this. And of course, that starts with finding your images or creating them and uploading them onto sites like Amazon Merch, which we're looking at now. And the goal is to get you guys to have these kind of numbers or better than this. And today we'll be going over one of the sites that I have used to get free commercial use images uh, public domain images, and Creative Commons images uh, to use for my print-on-demand business. We will also review the license because that changed recently. I believe it was about the beginning of this year, the beginning of 2022, to the point where attribution is required for some of the free images, but that's something we'll go over once I show you this site, and we can go over what images you're allowed to use and how you're allowed to use them, and of course, which ones you are not allowed to use. And the site that I've been talking about is Raw Pixel. As you can see here, there are multiple tabs on the top, and we're going to skip the first one and then uh, the fifth one here as well, but we'll go back and look at those. So you have free images uh, for a free account, premium images, which you need to pay for the account. You have elements, so just image elements, uh, public domain, which is self-explanatory. It's in the public domain, and then art. Let's jump back to the ones that we skipped, and that is free fonts, which you can go to if you would like some fonts. And then also you could go to topics here, which is just um, curated topics and design resources that are listed by topic. And then the free fonts here, as you can see here, there are open source fonts that you can search for. And while it looks like there are just a few when you're looking at it up front here, you could do something like this, click on font pairings, and that will get you into uh, the broader ones. That was just a topic for the fonts. So uh, at this point, you can scroll and look at all the different font uh, combinations here. And of course, these are open source. So you can make whatever changes you would like or uh, anyone else can at, for that matter. But we're not here to talk about fonts. Let's go back to the home page here. Stay tuned until the very end when we're going over the free images here. Uh, for some one of my favorite features of raw pixel that sets it apart from other sites where you can get images and from here what we're going to do is go over to these three little dots on the upper right we're going to click on it and go over to license so it is a very straightforward commercial use license uh, print and digital advertising broadcast product packaging presentations websites and blogs so if you're using it professionally you could use it for those one use per license, which doesn't really apply here because uh, for us with print on demand, we're going to be using it only once. And then you cannot resell or redistribute raw pixel content. And to uh, define this here is you can't resell the image itself. So you can't go upload it for other people to buy the image on say Creative Fabrica, or you can't upload it to Pixabay, which of course is a free download site that I've talked about before. And then this is extremely important on, on the bottom here. So you can use these for print on demand, but you must add considerable artistic value. And this is what constitutes adding artistic value. As you can see here, this is an email that I have received from Raw Pixel because I reached out wondering what does uh, consistent or considerable artistic value entail. So it says, you know, of course, as long as you make considerable artistic changes to the design, which include redesigning, manipulating the vectors, changing colors, which is huge, uh, adding elements, etc. You can always reach out to them with additional questions. But of course, what I noticed here was uh, changing colors right here. If it's as simple as changing colors on the design that you download, and that is enough to sell it for print on demand, which we have it in writing here. So it's pretty clear that that does entail considerable artistic changes. Um, that makes me very comfortable using these raw pixel images uh, for print on demand because we have it here that uh, it's very simple just to make a couple changes and sell it for commercial use. So let's scroll down a little bit here and it says free images can enjoy our free design resources for personal and commercial use. And they also have public domain and editorial, which uh, we're only focused on this, the public domain you would not be allowed to use the editorial. And so public domain, our public domain collection is available to everybody with a Creative Commons license, which is every single one of us. 
And then of course it's free for personal and commercial use with no attribution required. So you do not, do not need to attribute raw pixel at all. And then we're careful to only make available content that we believe is out of copyright. So uh, in most cases it will be, they may make a mistake. They're kind of just covering themselves here. I am very comfortable using their uh, Creative Commons and public domain images. That of course is just for the Creative Commons and public domain images. And then uh, Raw Pixel actually creates a lot of their designs and that leads me to a very important point here. If you have a free membership plan, you are required to attribute raw pixel every time you use or display the image. If you have a premium membership, no attribution is required. So this is something where on your Amazon merch or Redbubble listing, you would need to put in the description that this design was created by raw pixel. So you're allowed to use it. And of course you would need to make those changes to it, but you do have to say that it was created by raw pixel. So we covered this in the very beginning, what you cannot do, and I'll scroll up so you can see all of that line there. You cannot sell, redistribute, or share our images or copies of our images for others to use. So you cannot add them to an image gallery, image site, or a template where people can download them other than on raw pixel. One big reason that you do have to attribute uh, raw pixel on the free ones is because they create their own images and they own the intellectual property rights on them. So uh, this is something that Pixabay and Creative Fabrica don't have. And uh, Raw Pixel never used to have this. You didn't have to attribute them at all, but that changed, like I said, around the beginning of the year. So end of 2021, early 2022. So going forward, you do have to attribute them. So now that we've looked at the license, I believe that's the end of it. Yes, uh, let's go ahead and go back to the top and take a look at some of the images here that we're able to download. Let's of course start with public domain because we do not need to attribute those at all. And I've actually used some of these in a way that uh, I'll actually explain it in just a minute here when we get to them. So looking at the public domain images here, these are paintings or artistic values by famous people that have long been in the public domain. Well, I guess uh, people can release them to the public domain, you know, before they're old, but uh, a lot of these images are, for example, one that I actually sold on um, Fine Art America, which I'm bringing over here. I'm gonna drag it right now. Uh, Fine Art America is a site where you can sell paintings on uh, boards or prints or whatever. Oh, yeah, right here it shows you and let's just click on shop here. You can do metal prints, wood prints, posters, you know, uh, canvas or a framed print. So you could create an account on Fine Art America to sell these in the public domain, domain which I actually did on my own with uh, one of these images right here by this person, Katsushaki Hokusai. And uh, well, the one that I sold was actually this one here the wave and it's public domain so you're allowed to use it without attribution and there is a lot of competition so let's go like this the great wave off of Kanawanga and we're just going to search this here on Fine Art America and as you can see here well actually that just says six results which that was not there when I uh, when I created mine so let's just search for the great wave and there should be quite a few more yep there we go so I guess the beginning of it, most people leave out, but there are 889 prints here. So let's see how many are on canvas alone. Still 885 of those are printed on canvas. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Let's go back to raw pixel here and take a look at some others. As you can see, uh, there are just so many public domain and we don't even need to look at just that person. Uh, there are tons and tons of public domain images that uh, you could put into other elements as well, like you could use this flower in another image or you know, one of these butterflies. Uh, you could just sell the Mona Lisa on Fine Art America or really any other print-on-demand site. Because this is public domain, you're allowed to use it in any way that you want for any purpose. So let's take a look at some of the elements here. And so this one, uh, the PNG textures, was something that I found a lot of use for. So when I wanted to make textured images, uh, before I found out that Productor, the extension, was able to do it on its own, I would put uh, something like this over my image and make it almost completely transparent. So 
it looked very uh, grunge. If you're looking strictly just to sell art, you could of course go up to art here and most of these will be in the public domain. So let's click on this one and then let's go with this. And as you can see here, it is in the public domain. So that means that you are allowed to sell it on prints. Let's say, again, you go to Fine Art America, which I'll actually make a video on them. Um, I mentioned it a couple times in this video. So uh, not to get off topic, but you could sell this image without uh, doing anything to it, without making any changes, again, because of that public domain. All right, the part we've all been waiting for, the free images. But before I click on it, this is just a reminder that if you do use one of RawPixel's free images, you will, one, need to make changes to it, and two, attribute RawPixel in your description or your listing in some place. So let's go ahead and click. And I know what you're thinking here. The, you're like, oh, these are not images I would be able to use for my print on demand. But let's go ahead and do something like vector here. This will bring up a bunch of vector graphics for you. And as you can see, a lot of them are listed as free. And uh, what I would do is sort by new. So you have the newest ones on there. It looks like these would be a lot of backgrounds, a whole lot of backgrounds. And of course, not all of them will work for you. Uh, you can do something like this. You can change the file type. And then non-editorial because you do not want to use editorial. And let's just look at all the options here. You have sizes, you have photos, add-ons. PNG elements is one thing that I used a lot on print-on-demand. And well, I guess I still use a lot on print-on-demand. Raw Pixel scared me off for a little bit with that attribution change. So I don't use them as much as I used to. I use more Creative Fabrica a lot and of course Pixabay. I know I've mentioned both of those quite frequently. But let's go ahead and scroll on the PNG elements here because we know that we just have to attribute them in our descriptions, in our product listings. As you can see here, we can make something like with a background of a wave. And this is a cool little watercolor here. So uh, that would be something that's unique on a shirt. Although this one is premium. I didn't see that when I clicked on it. You could do something like this tiger, maybe with a um, Japanese blossom behind it, which would add distinctive elements to it. Let's scroll back up to the top here, and I want to show you one of my favorite features of Raw Pixel. One of the absolute best things that you can do on Raw Pixel, and let's actually just go over to free images here, is you can type transparent background here, and this will bring up all of their images with a transparent background, which, as you know, ones with a background are a complete pain in the butt for print-on-demand sellers. Something like this, you would be able to download it and as you can see, it has the transparent background. It's ready for you to use. And sometimes, uh, like this one, this one looks like, well, actually, now that I've clicked on it, I can see boxes in there. So this one's transparent. Uh, at first glance, it didn't look like it was. If you search transparent background on Raw Pixel, you will get almost all of your images. I'm going to say 99% of them will have the transparent background ready for you to use for your print on demand business without needing to remove a background or re remove elements that you no longer want. This time of year, there are a lot of new ones added, such as this, the witch with the jack-o'-lantern, and then a witch with a pumpkin here, a black cat with a pumpkin, uh, the grim reaper, and a witch on her broomstick. So there are all sorts of images that you can use from raw pixel. And let's go up here and sort by new. Let's see what we have. And as you can see here, we still have the transparent background search here. So all of these will have a transparent background ready for you to use. And there we have Raw Pixel. It is one of those sites that I have used extensively in my print on demand career. Like I mentioned earlier, I kind of strayed away from it a little bit when they made those license changes because it's not as straightforward as some of the others, such as Creative Fabrica or Pixabay anymore. But if you're careful and if you attribute uh, you know, raw pixel on your product description or your product listing, you'll be just fine and you can use their images. Uh, they are very clear in their licensing, on their licensing page, which ones you're allowed to use and which ones you are not, and how you can use them if you are allowed. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I hope this video added value and I hope that it can help you make more print on demand sales. And if you're still with me, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please ask them below or email me at the email address listed on my profile. And thank you guys. I'll see you next time.